If I die, it'll be your fault. 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 Staff in general practice across the UK have been working incredibly hard over the last year to continue to support patients during the pandemic. We have experienced some of the highest levels of activity in modern times, whilst also providing the majority of COVID-19 vaccinations to our patients. Sadly, also during this time, violence, aggression and abuse towards practice staff has also increased. Practice receptionists bear the brunt of this behaviour as they are often the first person that patients speak to when contacting their GP surgery. So you do answer the phone, eventually then? I don't understand why it's so hard to get through. It's not like you're doing any work. You're overreacting to this whole thing. It's just a bit of flu. Put me with the doctor now. You're just a receptionist. Put me through to someone who knows what they're talking about. Your receptionist is a Rottweiler and she won't let me see the doctor. I pay your wages to so give me what I want. I'm entitled to see who I want, when I want. Give me a vaccine or I'll complain to my MP and the CQC. I've had my jab, so I'm immune, so give me a f***ing appointment. The doctor shouldn't be on holiday, I need to speak to him. You are absolutely useless, a lot of you. I don't want to see the Indian doctor, I want to see the British one. Do you want me to come in there and teach you how to do things better? You're a f I've run out of medication, if you don't sort it, it'll be your fault if I die. I need my pill prescription, if I get pregnant because I've missed it, then it's your fault. If I don't get an appointment, I'm going to be down there and be banging on that door until someone comes out and sees me. I'm going to go down there right now and talk you out. Three of our team had their tyre slashed by a patient after we couldn't give him an appointment. He phoned at 5pm and was offered an appointment the following day as we were fully booked. A patient turns up at the surgery and threatens staff with a hammer because he couldn't get an appointment that suited him. A Chinese member of staff was spat on and told to take the virus back home with them. I hope all of your family die. I know where you live. If I die, it'll be your fault. 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 The latest information from NHS England shows that in the week commencing the 22nd of March 2021, nearly 6 million appointments were offered to patients. Of these, nearly three and a half were face to face, two and a half million were over the phone, 33,000 were home visits and 28,000 were video consultations. Nearly three million of these total appointments were with a GP. General practice across the UK has had to work differently during the pandemic in order to keep patients and staff safe and to be able to continue to provide services for their population. But practice staff are people too. They've also suffered bereavements, they've had to self-isolate, they've had to shield, they've tested positive for COVID-19, they've needed a break and in some circumstances they've lost their lives. They've also been an integral part of the vaccination campaign on top of providing all of these usual services. Staff have worked over and above their normal hours to support these efforts. Nobody deserves to be spoken to like the examples we've given you today in this video. In a world where you can be anything, be kind.